right, it is the afternoon of December 7th. Um, we're back up in the field we call the top middle field up here tonight. Um, last night we came in and actually sat across the field. Uh, tonight the wind switched out of the south, so we're hunting the, the south wind stand up here tonight. Um, crazy last night we got back to the house and uh, looked at our cutting link cameras and uh, we had the deer in the field last night early at about 2.15 and the field cleared for some reason. It wasn't us or it wasn't the wind. I don't know if there was a coyote or, or what, but as those deer were running back, we actually had a picture of Hightower walking on a road right out to us. So um, about another 15 steps and he would have been in view of us, but he was walking right out to us. And as those deer pushed off the field and ran back in the timber, you can actually see him on the camera running back the other way. So um, it's crazy how close that was last night. I mean, a few more steps and, um, it would have been game over, but we're back at it tonight. Um, hopefully he'll do the same thing tonight, but actually come out. Um, should be a nice evening. It's a little warmer tonight, uh, sunny out. Uh, it's a little 45 degrees or so, but hopefully the deer will still move. we still got a pretty good moon time. I think it's 2.15 tonight. We've actually already got our first little fawn out in the field already today. It's about two o'clock, so we're gonna sit back and see if we can catch a break and get lucky tonight. I'd like to see get older. Come on. There's a couple big girls there. There's another one I just came out of that thicket.
sure about the gun if you leave. I don't know. What do you think? his antlers, he may come and challenge the dead. He's making a scrape, posturing. That's gonna wait just a minute. What do you think? ago or an hour ago and he kind of cut through a thicket and so we were just watching and then we actually had uh, the deer I called the drifter 10 uh, slip in this corner and actually he was one we were going to shoot but he came out pretty close here so 
Uh, Aaron had his bow, so I was waiting to see if we could get a bow shot. And he was at about uh, 50 yards here for a while. And just didn't quite come into bow range for, um, for Aaron. Then we looked out across the field and Hightower stepped out at about 200 yards. Uh, it's just a long shot for a muzzleloader. Uh, I just really wasn't very comfortable with that shot. He got to about 180 and I was just getting ready to maybe take the shot and uh, end up pushing the doe. And we thought he left and then uh, they came down this little field edge. He gave me about a 170 yard shot. And uh, Aaron thought he saw a mule kick. I couldn't see anything with the smoke. So we're gonna give it uh, a minute here, but uh, that's a, a really nice deer. Um, he's not gonna score very well, but he's at least five, maybe six. I've got three years of sheds of him. Um, I've got some cool footage of him for three years. So uh, just a great management deer, a great um, deer for this farm. I'm excited to get him. So hopefully we can uh, go over there and find him. Well, this is an old farm warrior right here. This is the deer we call Hightower. Um, you can see by his rack, I mean, he's definitely, you know, he's no Boone and Crockett deer, but um, if you look at the neck and the body on this guy and the, the Roman nose, I've got uh, three years of sheds of this guy. Um, we've videoed this deer for three years. Um, my son Hunter actually found his match set of sheds this spring, but um, it was just his time to go, so. Uh, we think he's, I know for sure he's five and a half. He may be six and a half, but um, probably was actually a little better last year. And uh, was just a great deer to get off this farm. So I'm super excited. I um, was trying to get uh, Hunter on this deer earlier with his crossbow, but we couldn't get it done. And he stepped out tonight. Um, we almost got, uh, got the uh, Drifter 10 shot with a bow. And then he stepped out, so we switched gears and uh, had to take a pretty long shot, but uh, and hit him perfect and he didn't go 50 yards 60 yards so awesome night uh, great deer to get down here late season and uh, just a great mature deer